wondering how the hell I got to this country. Well, um, I, you know, I got to this country. I, I came legally to this country twice. The first time was through California. Uh, you know, and I'll just one minute of this is literally my mother carried my uh, brother on one hand and she dragged me, kind of pulled me uh, through a sewer canal uh, with her other hand to get into um, uh, Escondido, California. Uh, we went through a border uh, called San Isidro next to TJ. We failed. I attended the second grade. I, I stayed after school and I was in the ESL, like English as a second language. And I was like doing my best to learn English because at that time, man, I was getting bullied mm -hmm. from like other, again, if you look at my comments, other Mexicans and Hispanics, which are Chicanos were like, ha ha, you can't speak English. Like they were like, ah, oh, you wet, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the, the W word. I don't mm -hmm. know if you know what the W word is. I was getting called every name of the book by my own people at that time. It wasn't even like, I had a white friend named Patrick who would bring an extra sandwich so I can eat. And he was like my best friend. He was white, right? Mm -hmm. I had a black friend named Larry and we would play basketball. It was like the Hispanic people that were like constantly just bullying me. It was, it was the weirdest thing in the world. Anyway, lasted about a year. And then, uh, you know, my mother's income was just not enough to survive in California. We went back to Mexico and the entire family made fun of us. You know, they were like, ha ha, I told you so. Right, because they were like, no, 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 what are you doing? What, no, you know, my mom's a visionary. You know I mean? That's where I get a lot of my traits, my good traits from, right? Mm -hmm. No, uh, her name is Vicky. No, Vicky, you're, you're, you're a woman. You, your sons are undocumented. Uh, you're the youngest one of all of them. Like, no, of all of us, they have 11 siblings. Like, no, what are you thinking? You're, you're going to put yourself at risk, your life at risk, and your, your kids at risk. What are you thinking? She's like, this is just a sacrifice that I have to make for my children so my children can have better than what's going on here. Right. That was her vision, and her vision came into, uh, came, uh, into a reality, reality, right? It came, it came uh, But this is the important part, man. We went back to Mexico, and I'm thinking, I'm like, man, I, I clearly, vividly remember now. We went back to Mexico and she had a plan. Her plan was to get us back over here. But this time she said, hey, I have some people in Phoenix and they tell me that it's, it's uh, more affordable there. And she's like, okay, mom, so what's the plan? What are we gonna do? She's like, well, you're gonna go bag groceries, which I went to bag groceries at a retail store. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm gonna continue to clean the, the hotel rooms and we're gonna save up enough money. And uh, I'm gonna come over here first, which is her. She's gonna come over first, she's legal. And then I'm gonna bring you first, you're my oldest, and then I'm gonna bring your brother. Sure thing, man, a year and a half later, you know, we had already sent her. Um, she brought me over, she paid a guy $25 to get me through a fence. And, uh, and then she got me to Phoenix and she started my paperwork process uh, in 1997. And then I got a work permit first. And then a year later, I, have, I got a permanent uh, resident card. And then five years later, I got my citizenship. So it, was a, it, was, it took me over 15 years to, to get, uh, to become a citizen of this country. And I wouldn't trade that for anything, man. Like, look what's happened to, in my life. Yeah. Because of her vision, by the way. And I retired her in uh, 2017. You know, I retired her in 2017. And, uh, you know, uh, her, she gets to live the rest of her life retired by her son because of the sacrifices that she made. And I get to live my life in victory because of the sacrifices that she made. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I changed, like, I'm the first millionaire in my family. You so, know, I'm the first millionaire in my family. It's huge. Um, so let me ask.